West Florida this afternoon, uh, head coach Stephanie Lawrence Yelton, number zero senior guard Alex Coyne, and number 23 senior forward Katie Bobas. Uh, coach, if you just want to start with an opening statement. Yeah, um, super proud of our team this season. Um, reached, gosh, I'm getting emotional. Just, you know, these, these two ladies beside me have meant the world to our program. Um, Katie came to play for us when we had only won six games my first season at UWF. And uh, she believed in the vision that we could build a national championship team, that we could compete at the high level in basketball that had never been done at UWF. And, uh, and she came on that vision and that dream. And then we added uh, Alex um, before last season, you know, a two-year transfer and just the, the guts and the heart that these two ladies have shown throughout their career. I mean, you saw a glimpse of that tonight. You saw a little bit of that tonight as they battled back uh, from being down and just trying to fight, fight, fight for our team uh, to win. But that's, you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg of what you saw today. Um, these ladies are great students. They're great people. They, um, you know, these are, these are the ladies that I want my kids to be around, you know, that, uh, that my two little ones love. You know you've got good players when my four-year-old names their stuffed animals after your players. You know, and so when he, when my four-year-old says, Mom, I can't go to bed without Katie Bobas. Now, if he was 18, I'd have some, <laughs> some questions about that, but he's four, you know, and that's just the respect that they have in our house. Um, <laughs> and they, they are loved and they are, they are adored. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't say enough about this group of young women. Uh, you know, like I said in the press conference the other day, we started this venture uh, in August. Uh, we took our team on a trip to Dominican Republic. It was an international trip that also, uh, it was more than just basketball. You know, the basketball was just, you know, the physical part of that. Um, but these ladies were able to stretch themselves to um, be outside and live outside of their comfort zone. Uh, they got to see a different world and they love the people in Dominican. Um, we have a junior on our team, Jay Davis, who will go back this summer uh, to prepare to be a missionary after her graduation. She'll spend six weeks there. It was that kind of trip that, uh, that brought our team together. They've been going hard at it since August 1st. I mean, it's eight, eight months of basketball for them, the longest any, of any season I think any of them have played. Uh, but they've stuck together. They've played hard through it. We've had challenges. I think I'm most proud of this team for uh, we didn't lose back-to-back -back games this season. You know, we would, we would have a loss and they were right back in the gym, determined to turn it around, to fix whatever corrections we needed to fix and, and get back on it. And I think that's a great accomplishment for a basketball team, uh, knowing the longevity of that season. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we're disappointed with the loss today, obviously. Um, we would love to be advancing and going to the Final Four. Um, you know, for the game today, I think, you know, obviously that six of 10 from the three-point line in the third quarter uh, kind of did us in. Uh, we left 10 free throws out there. You know, when you lose by eight, but you're leaving 10 free throws out there, oh, that just leaves a, you know, hits you in the gut a little bit. Um, but I thought, you know, overall our team came prepared. They were super relaxed. Uh, for their first time being at the Elite Eight, they were just soaking it all in and enjoying every minute of it. Um, but the fight determination that they, that they showed to try to battle back in the game was extraordinary. Coach, you guys obviously one of the top Obviously that was part of the game plan is taking away that three and trying to uh, force them to take a different type of shot. Uh, maybe let them put it on the floor a little bit more, having them to throw the ball inside a little bit more. Uh, but you know, they made some tough threes with us in their face. I mean, and, and we talked about that as our team. We said they are a very talented team and uh, they're very talented shooters. When you're guarding a first team All-American kid, she's gonna hit some tough shots in your face, even if you play good defense. And I thought we run into just some couple of plays like that. But again, I, th I thought our players didn't get discouraged. They kept trying to go, go, go. We had some scoring droughts on our end or we just couldn't, you know, they hit the three, we couldn't come down and, and replace it on the scoreboard. They come down and hit another one, we just couldn't come down and replace it. And that's just kind of how, you know, how that, uh, that third quarter went for us. But uh, 
but yeah, I mean, when you're trying to force those kids off of those shots and they've got so many threats out there that can hit them, um, it makes a difference. Yeah, we are a man-to-man -man team. We uh, we'll press a little bit. Um, we we work a little bit on zone, uh, but it's more of a uh, trapping, just kind of in practice. But we're not very good at it. We are great at our man-to-man -man defense. We've been ranked nationally in the top five in many categories throughout the season. And it's a and, and I, I'm giving the kudos. The defensive end goes to Laquana Barksdale Quick, my assistant coach. This is our first season in the program. Um, when I lost my assistant last season, I knew we needed someone to come in and help us on the defensive end. I thought we were trying to be great at a lot of different things, and we just couldn't pick what we wanted to be great at. And, uh, and she came in and really put a focus on the defensive end of the floor for us. And, you know, that's the, all the kudos to her of the defensive accolades and really in the position that we're in because uh, she came in and helped us elevate our play. Because we started the season early in August, we've been doing the same thing from day one. So when you're doing it for eight months, you get pretty good at it. And so I think that's, a, again, a testament to uh, her teaching, her philosophy with defense, um, and then, of course, our players uh, being coached, being, being pushed, doing different things on defense that they weren't normally uh, prepared to do. And, of course, it, it helped us this season. Yeah, that, you know, that, that fourth, again, we showed a lot of gutsiness and a lot of determination, but yeah, we just, we dug a, a too big of a hole after that third, um, you know, we were, we were right there at it. Uh, I thought, you know, if we had, a, we had to save five more points in that third that, uh, that you know, we might be, we might have had the first press conference today versus the second one. Um, but yeah, but it was, it was a good game. It was a, it, at the, you know, a good game for the fans to see. I think it was a great level of women's basketball. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of positives that come out of it. What would you say is next, you know, your opponent, is there a time, you know, national title, or is the top state Well, definitely they're shooting. You know, I thought that was, you know, they were, they were spot on shooting. Um, you know, again, I, I thought we got out hustled a, a certain amount of plays, you know, when we had forced them to take a harder shot, they missed it, and they just out hustled us for that offensive rebound. We had uh, four or five, I thought, key possessions of that were like, just, oh man, we just had that rebound. Um, and so that's kind of the, you know, their tenacity, their shooting. Uh, they're a great program. They've been ranked, you know, in, in the top of the country all season long. Um, I think they were the number one offensive team in the country. I don't know if they, know if they would still remain there, but, um, but they're, they're a great team and a good squad and they're well coached. They've been here before. This is their second time in three seasons of coming to the Elite Eight. That has a lot to do with it too. And they've got five seniors on that team that came last time and didn't finish with a win. By all means, they're ready to win it this year. You know, so, um, you know, there's a lot of those factors that, that come into play. Now I told our kids in the locker room, it's not very often you get to this level when you win on the first try. You know, I was a part of that at the University of North Carolina when I played there. We made it to our first ever Final Four and wound up winning the national championship. And it was a special group of young women, um, a special team, and a lot of special things had to happen. And we had to hit a three with .7 seconds left on the clock to win it. Um, so, you know, it's, it doesn't happen usually on your first go around when you come here. You know, getting here is part of the step and part of that process. And, uh, you know, again, we're, I'm proud of these ladies for getting us here. You know, it's our job as a staff and, and with the returning players to hopefully be back next year. Okay, can you just talk about um, your four years at West Florida, leading top five score, all time leading rebounder? But, uh, Absolutely. It's been an honor to uh, to go to West Florida and to have the Penn School uh, community back me in, in everything that I've done. And uh, it's been an honor to play for Coach Shelton, who has pushed me more than any person in the whole world. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted to thank everyone and definitely thank Alex Coyne because she is one of the best leaders I know and uh, and uh, she's you know the best point guard I could ever play with. Alex, can you just talk about your career? You came in two years ago and just kind of took over this program. Uh, yeah, um, just same thing. Totally honored and I just have so much pride in this program. You know, um, wearing my support across my chest is one of my um, greatest identities as a woman um, 
and I just, you know, we have a great group of kids around us. Uh, we have a great team. Um, Katie Bokes is a great kid, you know. I can't think of a better person to go out in my career with. Um, and, you know, we're, we're playing for three unbelievable women. Um, just thankful for the opportunity that they've given me to um, finish out my career here. And um, just proud, really proud, you know. I just, I don't think that anyone expected much of us this year. And um, just to make it here is, you know, an unbelievable honor. Um, and we're just, we're proud and we're thankful and definitely humbled. Um, and we've just had tremendous support, uh, just texts and tweets and everything from the Pensacola family. And for that, I, I, I'm, there's no words, you know. There's no better way to end my college career than the way I did this year. Any other questions? Thank you. Yes, thank you.